Welcome to the Gaming Investigators channel, where today we meet again to check some interesting theories from the game world and see what is true and what is false. Thank you for your great commitment to this series and we wish you a good time. Meanwhile, as it is at the beginning of the Mythbusters episodes, we will look at your suggestions for the myths that appeared in the previous episode. And so, at the beginning, let's take a closer look at the comment from the user Raylarius, who had some remark about the myth in which we checked whether it is possible to make a car dirty by using another car. It turned out that it is rather impossible. And Raylarius wrote in connection with this that we should check if the car accidentally gets dirty when we tow it. At first, our Admiral looks completely clean as you can notice. And now, there is nothing left for us to do but hook it to the tow truck, drive a bit across the wilderness, and see if any effects of such an attempt will be visible. As you can see, unfortunately, nothing happened. In our opinion, the car did not catch even the slightest dirt. A moment later we drove with this car, this time of course without the use of the tow truck, and the effects were immediate. The dirt quickly appeared in various places of the car, which is visible at the moment. Moving on, several people also drew our attention to the myth in which we investigated whether the vehicle's passengers could fall out through a previously torn off car door. As it turns out, after what you wrote, it is possible. And what's more, even if the vehicle door is in place, it works. The point here is that when CJ bends and drives fast and dangerous, his gang members may at some point give up traveling with their boss, regardless of whether the car has a door or not. In our tests, we have noticed that gang members are afraid, as evidenced by the various lines of dialogue that we will now hear together. Let's cruise, CJ, not race. Relax, dude, I'm trying to shoot. Man, I'm trying to blast here, man, slow down. However, despite this and so on, the most faithful travel companions do not give up on it and do not intend to get out of the car. If you think we are still doing something wrong, please write it in the comments. Meanwhile, there is myth number one ahead of us. You cannot kill a drug dealer silently. We're going to start today's episode with a myth that's pretty quick to test. Probably too much cannot be said about it, so let's just go to the tests. As you have seen, we made only three attempts, but it is easy to justify. We did not see any hope or chance in any attempt that the dealer could find out that someone was planning to execute him, as a consequence of which, for example, he would immediately turn around and start shooting at us. So, in our opinion, silent kills on dealers are possible for sure. Myth 2 Stingers can pop the tires of vehicles whose tires cannot be shot through with a gun. We are talking about vehicles such as tractor, monster truck, hydra, or other planes in general. It seems to us that there is no other option here than using the stingers that we have at our disposal in the puncture wounds mission. Anyway, what's important is that, as we know, in GTA San Andreas we can find many vehicles whose tires are, in theory, indestructible. It makes no sense, but never mind. We chose five vehicles for testing, which will be a tractor, monster truck, Hydra, Shamal, and Beagle. And it turns out that we have some kind of vehicles in the game that could have armored tires. Yeah. 
When you start killing members of your gang, you will receive a message showing that your respect has decreased and gang members will say harsh things to CJ and even attack him. Does it mean then that CJ is not so unpunished after all and members of his gang may start fighting with him? Let's find out. We'll start, of course, with the mass killing of the family's members. It is not a great act because we love our homies, but sometimes, for scientific purposes, the end justifies the means. Anyway, we found out relatively quickly that when we kill members of our gang, the respect bar decreases after more kills, or at least that's what the game tells us. Nevertheless, in our case, these were not very large values because there was virtually no change in the table with the statistics. Besides, we have never had a case where members of CJ's gang were aggressive towards him. However, we managed to get some interesting attempts when CJ did not have too much respect in general. Then, there were several situations in which single members of the Greens started shooting at us. Finally, as for the offensive lines of dialogue, there were a few of them. For instance, there was something like, CJ, what the hell are you doing? Or, we're in the same team, dog. I thought we was homies, man, you tripping. To sum this up, we can confirm the myth as several situations showed that the members of CJ's gang do care when he starts murdering GSF members. Beach Shore Footsteps Will Never Disappear Generally, we probably know where this theory came from to the author of this myth because when you look at the beach, you can quickly see that there are many traces in the sand. The vast majority of them look as if they were traces left by pedestrians. However, when we look at the traces that are left behind the pedestrian, we quickly notice that the specific ones disappear quite quickly. We think that it would be better to take a look at this in slow motion. We also noticed, though it may be wrong here, that the tracks left by CJ last a little longer in the sand than those left by the NPCs. While CJ's in the car, he can't take bullet damage from opponents. However, when you remove the door from the car, if someone shoots CJ, he will get the damage. We have quite big doubts about this myth, and we're already telling you why. Well, as we currently see on the screen, when we shoot the car in which we break the door, it turns out that the collision stays anyway. The texture isn't there, but it doesn't make the bullets fly through the car. However, to be sure that the myth is fake, let's go to the Bala's territory and make a few attempts. Unfortunately, our assumptions turned out to be true. Even though the car does not have a door, CJ is completely safe if he is in it when the car is under fire. Well, apart from the fact that the car itself continues to take damage, and after some time, it will simply explode. The last myth of the episode is a question from Depressed Weeb 69 can a fire truck clean a dirty car? So, once again in this episode, we will use our favorite car, the Admiral, but in the dirty version. And now, let's get into the fire truck and see if the water will wash away the dirt from the body of this vehicle. Nothing has happened so far, but let's not give up so quickly and try to change the verdict of this myth for some time. And, in our opinion, at this point, we can certainly bust this myth. When it comes to today's video of myths, we highly recommend that you watch the episode about whether the truth's conspiracy theories are true or just total BS. Thanks for being with us, take care, and see you in the next episode!
Bye.